So what exactly are you going to learn here in this video? In this video, we are going to create so-called carousel ads. This is a type of Facebook ad. This is not necessarily a different objective. We are just going to have a look at the objective of consideration and then messages ads again. And afterwards, we are going to pick the type carousel ads. So we're going to learn how to create a highly converting carousel ads in the Facebook ads manager. Then afterwards, we're going to have a look at how to brand and design our ad. So I'm going to show you how to brand the ad again with canva.com. And in the end, we're going to have a look at a couple more applications of this ad. Video, I would like to show you how you can create a Facebook carousel ad. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to go in the right top corner, click on this arrow, and then go down again to create ads. So we are opening now again our Facebook ads manager, and we want to create again a messages ad. So we scroll down again, and we choose messages. And then afterwards, we are going to name this ad again. Let's name this ad set, for instance, messages online marketing agency, online marketing agency. We click on continue and now we are gonna set the ad set again. And what I'm gonna do right now is basically the same thing as we did just a second ago. We first of all want to include again New York and then afterwards we wanna set the age, the gender and so on. Let's first of all exclude Germany right here and let's first of all type in New York and again we're going to take the state of New York and not New York City. So let's type in New York, the state and then we'll continue with the age. We said it's about 25 to 35 so this is the average age of our ideal customer. And then down below we're going to enter again a language and the gender. We can go with all genders I think and then down below we are going to type in English US, so all American English speaking people in the state of New York that are between 25 and 35 years old. And then down below, we're going to now set the detailed targeting. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in again dentist. So we want to target again dentist, in this case now a general dentist. And then down below, we are going to narrow that audience down to people who are interested in business. So we're going to type in business again. And we can see over here on the right again that our current potential reach is fewer than a thousand people. And with the money that we invested, we can reach around 41 to 80 people per day. So up here we can see, all right, the potential reach is now quite specific. It's not broad anymore. It's not in between. It is specific and that is exactly what we want. So when we now scroll down, we can again have a look at the different ad, um, ad placements. For instance, we can have it in our Facebook feed, in the Instagram feeds or down below on the Messenger. What I can recommend you here again is go only with the Facebook feeds and the Messenger home. And then down below, we can also differentiate again between the Android devices, iOS devices and feature phone devices. Again, I can give you as a recommendation to leave it at all mobile devices because again, we're not targeting anyone who's using a particular device such as Android or iOS. We're actually targeting all of them. So down below, we can set again our target. I think we're good to go with these $5 per day. I'm going to click on run my ad set continuously starting today. So every single day, we are going to spend five bucks. So in the end, in a month, we are only going to spend around $140, which is $35 per week. So now what I want to do is first of all, again, look at the potential reach, we can reach 41 to 80 people per day. When we change this, let's say to 15 bucks, we can see it is also changing over here. So for instance, we can normally when we invest more money, reach more people. But I think because our audience is so small, I think we can type in whatever amount we want. And we're always going to reach these 41 to 80 people. So let's actually stick with five bucks we can, because then we are only going to target these people once. If you for instance, target these people, with let's say 15 bucks, 25 bucks or something like that, they're going to see the ad more often or um, they're supposed to then click on the ad more often. So basically what I want you to do right now is click again on continue and then afterwards we are going to create the so-called carousel ad. And for our carousel ad, we need different kinds of offers. And we already said in the last video that for instance, we could offer a free consultation. But now the images used for a so-called carousel ad are much different from the ones that we used for the single image ad. So when we want to create a Facebook messages carousel ad, what we want to do is we want to first of all design three different pictures. 
And we can already see right here that this is more like square shaped. So we basically have a picture that has to be in that shape as well. And what I want you to do is again, go back to canva.com. And what you can do on canva.com is you can also create so-called social media photos. So you click on this one, or I think this should be the only option. You click on this one right here, social media. And then afterwards you can design photos that will fit in here. So basically fit these little offers. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna create three or more offers that we can display in our carousel ad. So let's actually go back and let's have a look at the social media images. We can see right here all the templates that we could use. I think they're not even too bad, but again, we wanna point an arrow down to this call to action button down here, which says here again, send message because in the end it is still our goal to generate as many messages as possible in order to get into conversations with potential customers. So let's actually go back, let's have a look at this one right here and let's do the same thing as we already did in the last video. We are gonna take one of our photos, one of the headshots and we're just gonna drag it into the photo. So for instance, this one right here. Now of course, this is perhaps not the best photo you could use for any kind of ad, but I think it actually suits the purpose. I would actually do it as simple as possible people want to read as little as possible and want to get a f very simple, understandable message. So first of all, I think we would differentiate different offers with different colors. So this one right here, I would change the color, for instance, to something that is quite poppy that gets the first person to view this ad to also think, all right, I would like to click on that or at least grabs their attention. So we now changed this background image or the background color to this kind of reddish color. And we wanna write up here something that we are offering. For instance, we can again write free consultation. So we take the text right here, a text heading, and we are gonna drag that into the photo and then center it all the way um, over here. And we can, for instance, change the size. We can change, of course, the font again. But I think this white on um, reddish background color is actually quite good. It suits our purpose. And for instance, we can write right here, free consultation. Free consultation. And then down below, we could write something um, message us for a free consultation or something like that. We don't necessarily have to put an arrow every time. I think this one's actually not too bad right now because people, well, they have eyes, they can read. It says right here, free consultation. And then we can, for instance, add this one right here. For instance, have it now down below and can say, all right, book a free consultation, book a free consultation with us today. And then we can add, for instance, an error. Now, the ad itself doesn't necessarily have to be beautiful. It just has to, be, has to be functional. So we can just go back to elements. And I think we had them here in lines. So we click on lines and then we scroll down. And then afterwards, we can have a look at the different um, errors that are given right there. For instance, we can use one of those. Let's actually, I think, take the same one as we did the last time. So let's take this one right here. Let's drag it into the photo. Let's again rotate it a little bit and let's decrease the size. Let's bring it down perhaps to this size right here and let's bring it to the bottom of this photo. So then we can let it point right there. And I think this kind of bluish color is not even too bad. I think we could change it to something that's perhaps even, even a little bit more poppy. So let's click on this one right here, the color, the color scheme. And now we can change that for instance to this kind of bluish color. I think it's, it's, it pops more and people can uh, hopefully see it much more easily and then are more tempted, let's say, to click on the message button. So it says right now, free consultation, book a free consultation with us today. And then we got this little error and this then points down. So this is only the first image that we want to design. So we download this image right now. So we click on file type PNG recommended, and then we click on download. And again, it will take a couple of seconds until we have downloaded this photo. Then afterwards, we're gonna rename it and upload it into our ad. So again, it might take a couple of seconds, but then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create three different kinds of images upload them into the ad, create an individual offer, and then people hopefully are tempted to click on this ad and to book a consultation with us through, for instance, sending us a message. So let's actually close this in just a second. It probably will take a couple more seconds until this image is generated. So right, there we go. So we close this right here, and then we are gonna open the photo together. And I think we actually did a good job on this one. So let's name this one 01 and consultation. So this is 01 consultation. We're gonna save this one and now we can go back into our ad set and we can now 
upload this image into the ad. First of all, we have to set a text for this first image. We can, for instance, call it free consultation. Free consultation, there we go. And now down below, we can upload the image. So it says right now, free consultation. And we can select an image right here. And we can say, all right, we're gonna upload it right from there. We take this one and then we're gonna upload it into the ad. Okay, let's go back on downloads and then there we go. Let's upload it. And then we have this first image in our ad. Click on confirm and then we are ready to go and we created the first offer of our ad. So it says right now, free consultation, book a free consultation with us today. And then we got that arrow pointing down to send message. Let's actually create another one. Let's actually go back into here, or let's actually finish this one off quite, a quick, quite quickly. It says, for instance, right here, the headline, um, free marketing consultation, we could say free marketing consultation. And we can now also describe what we are doing right there. So for instance, if you want your business, or I think we should keep it short, book it for free today. There we go. So we're just gonna leave it like that. And again, the button is a send message button, or for instance, we can change it to book now. I always like the book now button a little bit more. So then let's go up again and let's have a look at the next image. So let's go again on Canva and then we're gonna click on the same kind of image again. I always like to save the images that I create. So we click now on social media again and we can create our second offer. Now the second offer could for instance be let's say a premium, premium consulting session where you talk to the person for let's say an hour or something like that and charge a certain amount. So what we wanna do right now is we again want to upload the photo that we already took for the first image. We wanna drag it into the image. And then when we did so, we wanna increase perhaps the size a little bit and then bring it down to where we had the other one. And again, we wanna change the background color to something that is quite poppy, that gets people to look. So let's take this one right here and let's actually add another text to it. And we can, for instance, call it, let's say 90 minute session and then we could say all right only what 1999 or something like that so let's type this in let's bring this little text up here again and let's type in only 1999 today and then people can book it, for instance, down below. And we're gonna go again on elements and then we're gonna upload another arrow to this picture. We scroll down here again, and then afterwards we're gonna take the same arrow again, bring it into the photo, make it a little bit smaller, rotate it, bring it down to the bottom of the image, and maybe let it point somewhere here, change the color to something that's a little more flashy, so this one right now, and then it says 90 minute session, only 90.99 um, today. And we can click again on download and then we can download it to our computer again. Again, it will probably take a longer time or it will take as much time as it already took for the first photo. And then we can create the second photo or the second offer in our ad of the carousel ad. We're gonna open the photo right now again and let's call this one again, zero one and consultation two. And now we go back into our ad, ads manager, and then we click on the second photo up here and we are gonna select an image. And we're gonna, for instance, select the image that we just created, this one right here. We're gonna click on open, then afterwards again on confirm. And as soon as we confirmed it, it will be uploaded into our ad. And we can now see that this is the first image, this is the second image, and then we can even add a third image if we want to. So we can again put a headline in here, for instance, for instance, 90 minute premium consultation. Down below, we can again sub, uh, describe this and can say, book it now, dot, dot, dot. And then we go back into um, Canva again and we can create another of these social media images. We go again up here on the left top on Canva and then afterwards on social media. So we're gonna do the same thing now again. We're just gonna add another color. And for instance, we could now advertise, let's say a weekend workshop. 
So we go into the uploads again, and then afterwards we're gonna upload the photo again. We're gonna bring it in here, bring it down to the level that we want it to be, maybe like that. Now we're gonna change the background color, let's say to a greenish color. We're gonna go on text again, gonna drag the big one in here, and can say for instance, premium, let's say premium weekend session. We're gonna change the color again. Let's bring the color down to white. Let's drag this over here so it fits the image. I think we should actually decrease the size of the writing. Maybe let's bring it down to 36. Then center it all the way. And then down below we can add again another bit of text. And again, could for instance name the price only, let's say, $999 if you book today. Then again, we want to change the color of this one right here as well. Color it white. And again, we want to add an arrow to this image. We click again on elements. We go down to lines and scroll down again and click on any arrow that we want to uh, put into this image. For instance, this one right here. So the one that we already use for image one and image two. Then we're gonna bring it down, make it a little bit smaller, make it point down to the message me button. And we're gonna change the color to something again that's quite flashy. Let's go with the red color again. Let's bring it over here. And then we're done with this one as well. So now we click on download, PNG recommended, and it will save it again to our computer. Afterwards, we can upload it into the ads manager again. And then we are almost done with our ad. So right, let's click on this photo again. Let's name it, for instance, again, 01 consultation three. Consultation three, it's now saved in our downloads. And we go back into our ads manager and we now want to set another um, ad for the third picture. For instance, we could select this image that we just created, click on the button right there, click on 01 consultation three and then we are done with that as well. Click on confirm, and now we added the third picture to this ad. So now we can also write again the headline in here. Let's say weekend premium session, and we can describe it, book it now, dot, dot, dot. And then we are already done with that. So down below now, we can change again the options. And what I can recommend you is I would like you to take the different kinds of offers that we have up here, and I want you to basically write them down right here as the quick replies. So the first quick reply is free consultation. The second quick reply is then, I think we called it premium session, didn't we? 90 minute premium session, 90 minute premium session. And then the third quick option or the third quick reply will be the weekend premium session. So let's type in weekend premium session. And then we're done with that as well. We now have three options. This is the text again that is gonna be shown to someone who sends us a message and it says free consultation, 90 minute premium, and then weekend session. So we're actually done with that right now. So we can click on confirm and then our ad should be finished. So Facebook is again gonna take a couple of minutes probably to confirm this ad and then we're gonna be able to basically see the ad on Facebook. So that was it now here for this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see each other in the next one.